What is up, my beater bros? Beard Maniac here with NBA Game Picks, and we're doing a full actual video. We haven't really, due to work recently, it's been slammed, so haven't really been able to do an accurate record update. So we are 293 and 145 overall. There are five games on today. In the span, though, that we haven't updated, we went 22 and 10, which overall is not bad. It keeps us a little bit over where we want to be, which is good. We got Charlotte at Boston today. I think Boston being more athletic, a little bit more punchy, I should say, is going to win this game at home, especially since they're at home. I want to see Taco Fall play again. That would be amazing. And to get Dallas at Toronto. Toronto is currently favored to play Dallas. Then again, Dallas has been one of those teams that have been incredible considering the fact that Luka hasn't played, yet they've maintained, which is really, really good. So I'm going to pick Dallas over Toronto here. I believe Siakam is going to miss the game due to injury. From what I've seen, he's expected to miss the game. I don't know how long he's going to be out. Even if I look at the antiquated ESPN app, that's never accurate. It says Siakam, Powell, Van Fleet, Stanley Johnson, and Thomas are out for the Raptors. So yeah, I'm picking Dallas there. And then we have Indy at Milwaukee. I got to pick Milwaukee with the Antetokounmpo's in there. Clippers, OKC. I have to pick the Clippers. Denver versus the Lakers. I think Kuzma is probable and LeBron James is doubtful to play. So no LeBron James. Kind of sad against a team like Denver. I think Jamal Murray's going to have a good game. And I'm expecting to see a lot of Kuzma and Davis sets because I think they work really, really well together. And I'm going to pick the Denver Nuggets in the upset there. So that's today's five games. To go over what's happened yesterday, if you do not, if you're not familiar, if you're new to me, or whatever, then you should know I love making predictions for like All Star games and stuff like that. And when when I first did that, I really, really started looking at competitors like Dinwiddie when he was in the um, skills. I think skills competition a couple years ago, and or three-point shooting or something like that. And I realized that he's actually a very solid player. Inconsistent, but he's very solid. And you look, he scored 39 points last night. Rebounds, 220 rebounders, 27. Hassan Whiteside had 22 rebounds and 7 blocks. That is absolutely ridic ridic ridiculous. It's not even ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a very happy holidays or safe travels wherever you're going. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.